All right, so uh, episode number 28 of CG News. Um, we're filming it right now. A little bit old school, how we used to do it. Um, let's get into it. The press is going to get you with the uh, upcoming events here at King Gubba High School. So the upcoming events for this uh, upcoming week, Monday the 8th, we have a Boards of Education meeting at 6.30 in Canton at the uh, office on Main Street. And then Tuesday at 6 a.m., there's a 2021-2022 high school cheer meeting. So uh, go there, and the 9th through the 11th, or Tuesday through Thursday, there's parent-teacher conferences, so hopefully you've been good to the teachers and they don't report you to, their, to your parents, you know? And then there's nothing Wednesday or Thursday besides parent-teacher conferences. And then uh, Friday the 12th, April ACT registration deadline. So get registered for that, you know? And then at 12.30, students get dismissed because it's a half day, you gotta love that. And I think the teachers actually you'd go home early that day, so it's a great day to be an Eagle there. So uh, we'll send it over to Garrett for uh, so. So we got some national news for you as uh, some states, including like Texas and Mississippi have raised their mandates for the COVID-19. So that means everything's open back up, throw them masks off, go to the beach, chill with some friends, you know, go to crowded places. I mean, you might get COVID still, but the mandates are over with. So there's really nothing else to say about it than I'd expect to see it happen in some other states. Cause when one does something, the other does something. It's like a domino effect. So we'll send it to Garrett for the uh, joke of the day. Yeah, dominoes. Uh, the joke of the day, you may be wondering, Garrett, what's the joke of the day? Lucky for you, I have a joke, and it's, I think it's pretty funny, so uh, we'll see if you agree. What do sprinters eat before they race? What do they eat? Nothing. They just fast. It's a good one. So, uh, I'm not sure if you understood the joke or not, but uh, when you fast, you don't eat anything before, but when you're fast, you also fast, you know what I'm saying? And they're fast. So anyway, Preston's got whatever next. So uh, that wraps it up for us anchors this this week. And uh, hey, this is the last episode before spring break. Last time we did this before spring break, we did not come back. And so hopefully we'll make it back and you'll see us whenever we get back from spring break, which is out of two weeks maybe. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a GF for episode what? I don't know. We've done some episode this year. 29, episode 29 of Canton Galvin News at CGHS. Thanks Peace for out. I'm Bryson Alcala, and I'm hitting you with the weather this week once again. And Monday, it's going to be windy and a high of 68 and a low of 48. And so, definitely warming up from last week. Tuesday, we got a high of 73 and a low of 47. And Wednesday, a high of 63 and a low of 35, and it's going to be partly cloudy. And Thursday, we got a high of 58 and a low of 34, so not as nice as the other days. And Friday, it's going to be rainy and a high of 50 and a low of 29, so it's getting nastier throughout the week. And then on Saturday, we got a high of 48 and a low of 23, and it is going to be partly cloudy. That's all I got. Tyson Struber, and uh, what are your plans for spring break? I'm going to go to Kansas City with my family. Just spend some time with them. So that's about it. Sweet, and uh, what do you hope to accomplish the rest of the year? Um, hope to attend state track. Uh, really just see how if I can beat my PRs for my freshman game. Yeah, I tried last year, so I'm pretty excited for this year. Sweet, thank you. Yeah. This is Preston Minson with our last interviewer, uh, Jory Ratzliff, and uh, what do you hope to accomplish the rest of the year? Uh, just basically get in the weight room and uh, practice some sports and just, you know, finish out, finish out this freshman year on a high note. That sounds good, and uh, how many times are you lifting a week? Uh, I think it'll be three times a week, so. Three times a week, and uh, what are you going to do over spring break this year? Uh, probably just chill with my family at home, maybe get outside a little bit, enjoy some warm weather hopefully. 
So. Sounds good. Thank you. All righty. Thank you. Hello, everybody. We're back with CG Trivia 2. Um, we're switching up. We're going to get three contestants, and I got three more questions on this note card. Um, same style, you know. Going to ask them, see if they know random knowledge off the top of their head. So let's go find our first contestant. All right, we found our first contestant, Andrew Preeb. He's a senior. Um, how you doing? Pretty good. How are you? You know, I'm doing pretty good. So we're going to get into our first question. Okay. What year did Apple produce their first iPod? iPod, say 2004. Close, 2001. All right, the next one, how many stripes does the American flag have? 13. Correct. And the last one, which Asian country is the first in the world to use paper money? China. Correct. Good job. All right, now we'll move on to our next contestant. All right, we got our second test contestant, Jaden Ediger. Um, he's a freshman in Kangalva. How are you That's feeling? Right. I'm feeling great. All right, good. So we're going to hop to our first question. What year did Apple Computer produce the first iPod? 2007. Close. 2001. Um, how many stripes does the American flag have? 50. 50? Yeah. <laughs> you mean stars? Stripes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stripes, stripes. It's like 20. Bruh. 20? Okay. <laughs> it's 13. <laughs> Which Asian country is the first <laughs> to use paper money? What'd you say? Which Asian country is the first in the world, world to use paper money? China. Yes, correct. Good job. I got one. One. There you go. Hello, everybody. We're back with our third contestant. His name's Ryder. He's a sophomore. Can't go. How are you feeling? Feeling great. All right, let's hop to our first question. What year did Apple Computer produce the first iPod? Let's go 2005. 2005, it's 2001. Oh. Um, how many stripes does the American flag have? 13. Correct. And last question, which Asian country is the first in the world to use paper money? China. Correct. Man, all three of you guys got that one right. Mm. All right, good job, and that's it for a trivia segment. We'll catch you guys next week.